Beware of one specific condition which can really put you off. Some patients have three waves, an E wave, an A wave, and in between the two, a so-called L wave. This is the wave you see right here. Now, imagine if you have a pre-truncated A wave, you're not gonna see this part, you're gonna see these two waves, and you might believe that this is actually the A wave. So it still makes sense if you do see two peaks to still play around with the AV delay to, I would say, exclude this is a possible problem. Finally, let me give you some facts and tips which partially stem from my personal experience in optimizing patients. The first is, if you have a patient who is a non-responder, it's almost impossible to get him to be a super responder. The effects you can achieve with optimization are usually very marginal or very little. The second is, if you have a patient who does not respond to CRT therapy, there is two possibilities. The first is that he was not a good candidate in the first place. And the second is that maybe the leads were not placed optimally. Consider that as well. Talk to your interventionalist. Maybe lead replacement is the best option you have. The third is, consider that the whole area of CRT therapy is developing very quickly. And we have many new modalities, with also with respect to how you can adjust and optimize the, the pacemakers. For example, multi-site pacing, where you have different options of how the leads are stimulating the myocardium. The fourth, be cautious, because if you use suboptimal settings, you can also harm the patient. You can eventually cause more dyssynchrony than you started out with. And finally, always follow up on the patients. What we do is, if we change the settings, we call them in about after three months to see if you really benefited from the uh, adjustments we made. And to objectify this, we, for example, perform tests like as BNP evaluations and, of course, stress tests. So the whole area of optimization is a very exciting one and it's very rewarding, but still it is also very cumbersome and still on the move.